Kenai Peninsula Borough Mayor Peter Machiki recently held a community conversation regarding students in the KPB school district attending homeschool programs in other school districts. Lexi Elverton tells us why parents are willing to take the, on the challenges of homeschooling. Kenai Peninsula Borough Mayor Peter Machiki says this is an important community conversation for many people in his district. Right now, there are thousands of KPB students enrolled in the district, but many of them are attending homeschooling programs in other districts, and he wants to know what the Kenai Peninsula Borough might be doing wrong. This is a very important meeting. Um, it's about customer service. So about 25% uh, of our students are homeschooled, and about 60% of those students attend homeschool elsewhere. We want to know why. Right now, a majority of homeschooled kids are enrolled in IDEA. He says a homeschool program run in the village of Galena. But because of that, Machiki says millions of dollars in state funding is going to Galena's school district instead. His hope is to change that by improving the Kenai Peninsula homeschool program known as Connections. On Thursday, parents came out to voice their opinions on various homeschooling programs. Connections was still closed down for the summer, and so I called IDEA. And they were open, and so I easily enrolled, and they were amazing to work with. I appreciate the fact that Connections wants to be better. But I don't know why we want to be better. Why don't we support the schools that are actually educating the children? I get many examples of why IDEA is their choice over Connections. The consistent theme is that IDEA has better support than Connections and more curriculum choices. Throughout the meeting, several parents spoke of good things about both programs, but most spoke of the reason they chose IDEA over Connections. Machiki and other officials say they came to listen, and wanting Connections to be improved is not just about the possible funding windfall. The reality of it is we go to church with these families. These kids are on our sports teams. We're involved with them. They're our neighbors. We want to know what we're missing on having them educated here. I feel like it's we offer this service as a borough, and I feel like a large amount of our customer base is not satisfied with what we're delivering. So we're here to listen about what it takes to satisfy their needs. They're the experts. We want to hear from them, and that's what tonight is about. Several parents say that they understand running a homeschooling program can come with challenges, but in the long run, Michiki wants to see connections be competitive with IDEA while improving it into the future. Reporting from Soldatna, Lex Yelverton, Alaska's News Source.